Hi there, I'm Tanya from The Bravery Box and I wanted to take a moment today to say thank you. Thank you so much for supporting our charity. We work with kids and teens who have cancer. We help them find a little bit of fun on their hospital days and we also help them to choose bravery. Kids with cancer are really brave. They really have to be. Lots of scary and confronting things happen to a child when they're diagnosed with cancer. They often don't get to see their friends for weeks and months. We're all starting to understand that a bit more with these COVID restrictions that we're under. They need to be brave for procedures that they know are going to hurt or make them sick. They sometimes just need to be brave to get through some rotten, really bad, no good days. Kids with cancer are brave, but here's the thing, they learnt how to be brave. No one is born brave. We learn to be brave because bravery isn't something that we are. Bravery is something that we do. Now this is really great news for us because it means that we can practice bravery. Practice makes better. We get better at the things we practice. You don't need to wait until big, scary things happen to practice bravery. You see, some people think of bravery and they think of these impossible tasks, the type of bravery that you see in movies, like putting yourself in harm's way to save the day. That's what I call insane bravery. The type of courage that you need to do something amazing and impossible often to save yourself or someone that you love from being hurt. But what I want to talk to you about today is everyday bravery. Bravery is like a muscle. Every time we're brave, that muscle gets stronger. Everyday acts of bravery are smaller moments of courage that help make our bravery muscle stronger. Practice a little bit of bravery every day and that can add up to insane bravery when you really need it. Practicing everyday bravery takes two steps. Number one is observe your emotions. Have a, have a look at yourself, observe yourself and see what you're feeling. Bravery doesn't exist without anxiety or a little bit of fear. So a good way to understand when you can practice everyday bravery is looking for those times when you feel a little anxious or scared. The second step is choose the brave thing. You may see someone being bullied in the playground and that might make you feel a little bit scared or anxious. You've noticed how you feel. Choosing the brave thing, making eye contact with that person to let them know that they're not alone, or just going up and standing next to them. That is an everyday act of bravery. Let's take a minute to think about the times when you may have felt a little bit anxious or scared in the last couple of days. Standing up in front of the class to talk in front of everybody, asking some new friends, if you could play with them. Going back into school after you've had a fight with your friend. I want you to have a think about a time over the last couple of days when you have felt anxious or scared. Now, think about what you did next. Bravery is what happens when you're afraid and you do it anyway. For that person who is anxious about talking in front of the class, it was an everyday act of bravery to get up in front of the class and speak. Asking a new friend if they'd like to play or making up with an old friend after you've had a fight, that takes bravery. And here's the really exciting idea. All of those little acts of bravery, that is what can add up to insane bravery if you ever really need it. It's important to remember that your bravery isn't going to look the same as mine or your friends or your teachers or even mum and dad. 
our bravery all looks different and that is okay. I really would love for you to start noticing your acts of bravery and what I predict is that you'll begin to notice that there's already a lot of courage in your life. I think that you'll begin to realize that you are in fact becoming a very brave person. Thanks for having me in your classroom and remember the time for courage is now.